spicy Korean flavoured fried rice with bacon and butter. And then finished off with a fried egg. This is bacon and egg fried rice like you've never seen before. Oh, I love this fried rice, guys. It has so many huge flavors, and one of them is the kimchi. And we're gonna make it even extra special by dry roasting it. It's gonna bring out all the umami flavors, intensify everything, and give us like a smoky flavor to the fried rice. So take your kimchi and empty it out into a sieve with a bowl underneath. Make sure you catch the juices underneath. What I'm trying to do here is press down, and I'm trying to dry out the kimchi as much as I can. I mean, it is gonna be a little bit wet still, but that's cool. We just want to collect some of that juice. Okay, so just keep our kimchi resting there. Save that juice for later. And now get a wok or a nonstick frying pan super hot. And I mean like smoking hot. Now add in that kimchi, no oil. And you want to stir fry this kimchi until we get some nice charry edges. Okay, I can see some beautiful color in here. I can smell some beautiful smoky aromas. So we're good to go. I'm gonna empty that kimchi out. Now we'll add that into our fried rice later. And now as with any kind of stir frying, you wanna have all your ingredients prepped and ready to go before you get the fire going. Now one ingredient I wanna talk about before we get started, and that is gochujang Korean chili paste. So this is a fermented chili paste, and it adds this really great deep chili flavor, a little bit of umami, and it's almost almost got like a little bit of a smokiness to it that I really love. So this one, find it in your Asian grocer, find it online, it's worth seeking out. Okay, now let's get on to the sizzling part. Now you wanna start off with a little bit of butter, not your traditional fried rice ingredient, but I think it adds a really nice kind of flavor. And now the bacon. Yes, we are doing butter and bacon in fried rice because we can. And also my mom's not watching. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. Okay, just let that bacon do its thing in there for a little while. Nice and aromatic, a little crispy at the edges. Now, once that bacon is a little crispy, I'm gonna add in my onion and some garlic. And now comes the Korean flavor. So I'm gonna add in that gochujang chili paste and just give that a mix through and add in that roasted kimchi. And now for the rice. So this is day old rice, which means it's nice and dry. If you wanna watch a video on how to make rice specifically for fried rice, I've got one for you on YouTube, so head there. And then I want some soy sauce. And here we go with that kimchi juice from earlier. Ah, oh, and look at that glorious color. So amazing. Everything is looking well combined. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of spring onion. Toss that through, and we are ready to serve up, my friends. Okay, take a look at that. And because my little half Thai Asian heart can't eat fried rice without a fried egg, I am gonna add myself a crispy fried egg on top. And then I want a little more spring onion for some greenery. And then finally, I like to like raid my Asian section of my supermarket for these little seaweed snacks. Some of them are toasty. This one has like sesame seeds on it, adds crunch and flavor. I'm gonna sprinkle some of those on top. And there you have it guys. Bacon, butter, kimchi, fried rice, fried egg. I don't, just don't even know how else you could add any more good stuff in here. You guys need to try this one.